I have not been able to find any evidence in the scientific literature or elsewhere that uh, anybody, either our government or any private sector or military uh, agency, has been uh, using or uh, spreading chemicals. He says what we're seeing in the sky are contrails, not some government conspiracy. No matter what you say, people are going to still believe that something is going on. And to that I say, well, Ask the FAA. So we did ask the FAA. So those are definitely not, they're definitely not chemicals. It's just heat, it's just a heat reaction to uh, the, the sub-zero temperature air that's around it. Still, Golden admits scientists are experimenting with the weather on a smaller scale. Here in Colorado, cloud seeding to create rain or snow is a common practice. There are things that we, that we believe we can do, but a lot more research needs to be done. That's why Golden says we will soon see more weather modification programs, including geoengineering, in the near future. But he says it's not happening yet. There are 172 bills before the U.S. Senate right now calling for more weather modification programs. And while scientists say it's one way to reduce greenhouse gases, opponents say the consequences could be devastating. All of these things change the growing cycles. Peterson says altering the amount of sunlight that hits the earth will lead to damaged crops, dead and dying trees, and the disappearance of honeybees. Then I think we're going to be in more trouble than ever before. So is it a contrail or a conspiracy? No matter who or what you believe, thousands of people are left wondering, looking to the cloudy skies for an answer that is clear. Heidi Hemet, Fox 31 News. Well, the U.S. military has been known to manipulate the weather in the past. During the Vietnam War, they used cloud seeding to make it rain over supply routes used by the North Vietnamese into South Vietnam.